Hi, my name is Ken McGaffin. You can find me at McGaffin.com. And I train and consult with small businesses and medium-sized businesses as well in the UK and the US. And what I do is I get them coverage in media of all sorts. And these are my top five tips on online PR. Read as much about your industry as you possibly can online. And that includes trade journals, trade press, uh, but also the general press. It's very important to look at what quality press write in a general sense about your industry. And of course, don't forget bloggers in your industry, whether they're in the UK or the USA, they can be a tremendous source of coverage for you. And when I say read, I don't mean just scan the way most of us do at the moment. I mean really read in depth. So when you see a story about your industry, read it carefully. Notice what the points were and see what you can learn from it and see how you can then emulate that. Tip two, start building a list of target publications as soon as you can. Collect details of outlets, journalists and bloggers who are in your industry and find their contact details. It's not hard to do so by searching online. And then once you find those details, start interacting with them. If they're on Twitter, follow them on Twitter, retweet their stories, even make comments on the stories that are published so that when you do come to pitch those journalists or bloggers, they might have some vague recollection of your name and therefore be more likely to write about you. Third, now a lot of people think that PR is free. Well, it is in the sense that no money changes hands, but certainly there is a value exchange going on. If you want to get free PR, you can't expect it by right. You've got to work hard for it. And that means you've got to spend time creating a newsworthy story. If you don't do that, you're very unlikely to get any coverage at all. So invest in creating your story, and then you'll get some free PR after that. Four, companies often underestimate the news stories that are actually in their company and round about them in their industry. And as a result, they don't exploit those. So think creatively about all the things that are going on in your company. I do it in three ways. Think about industry events that you can piggyback on. Think about company anniversaries which are set in stone that you can celebrate. And then the third part, which is my favourite, is actually creating events for those months that are free. So that you can, that's where you can put your creative work to great use and create an event that's going to attract TV, online coverage, newspaper coverage, whatever. And finally, remember this is a global opportunity. Online PR lets you contact the San Francisco Chronicle in the same way as you can contact the Sunday Herald or any other newspaper in the UK. It breaks down barriers. And if you're a small company or a medium sized company interested in exporting, this is tremendous because you can build a presence in your export market just by working from your own desk here at home in the UK. And here's my bonus tip. Find yourself a freelance journalist, someone who's working locally, and employ them to come in and interview you and then write up a story. What that will give you will be practice in understanding and answering a reporter's questions. And then you'll see the end result in terms of the article that they write. And that can be valuable promotion in itself. You'll also be supporting a local journalist and building, starting to build a relationship that will stand you in good stead in the future. So those were my five top tips for online PR. My name is Ken McGaffin. You can find me at McGaffin.com where you'll find full details of my consultancy services and the training that I offer to small businesses. Thank you.